and welcome to our first report of 2014, here at the D-Shirt, home to the famous Harry Clark windows. I'm Catherine Evertig and I will be presenting this series of programmes to you. We recently finished one of our workshops in video production, which was run in Cooling Studios. This workshop was funded by North East Kerry Development under the Min's Shed project. We spoke to Joanne Hulavon from that organisation along with some of the participants from the course itself. In any case, it's North and East Kerry Development, so we're, we're based in three areas, in Kerry, um, in, in the Listowel area, um, in Tralee, Castle Island, and as of about a year ago in, in West Kerry as well. My role is in community development. I work part-time in community development, and the main aim, I guess, behind community development is to work with local um, community and voluntary groups in the area to I guess to offer them support in any way we can. My colleague in the office was quite familiar with Scruggle TV, so we were we were trying to brainstorm some ideas about um, approaching some groups to do some work with. So Scruggle TV um, decided to run um, a video production class, and the idea was that the the participants in the course would learn the basics, I guess, and maybe even more than the basics um, of video production, and then put together. A piece of work at the end, a final piece of work. Yeah, so I heard about it from um, West Kerry Live, a uh, local kind of um, paper, kind of magazine, and um, my parents actually suggested it to me, film studies, because I've always kind of had an interest. Well, I studied painting in college, and uh, when I heard this course was coming up, I thought it would be a good idea to do it. It was a year, a year and a half in art school, and I was uh, getting very interested in filmmaking. I went to study painting, but then came across other disciplines. We divided up into two groups, the, the class which of about eight it was. The helpful thing about it was um, it reminded me of, for instance, how to set up a camera, how to do lighting, the way it was set out because almost immediately we had a very small bit of theory and almost immediately we were sent out with cameras. And we actually took a few shots ourselves and different angles like close-up, medium close-up. I didn't find it difficult. I, I was just going at it and doing it but after once we're actually out shooting and then you bring the stuff back in you look at it you realize oh I could have done this or I could have done that. The, the class which of about eight it was yeah and we each had a, a story to tell. Our group of four um, we went to we did a piece on Dick Max and the characters inside there and, and um, Sean interviewed him actually while we were using the cameras. There's a load of stories really um, Oliver being a very witty <laughs> character um, and very playful personality. We, we couldn't seal off the street or the bar really and we were lucky that there weren't, any, there weren't many people around because once we brought the equipment into the bar it seemed like we were, were imposing. And again just the different shots and taking into account the noise but um, I think it went okay. We, we came together and we um, decided on what idea would use. Ours was about a teddy bear which was lost. But one problem was, as usual in the winter I suppose here, is it's windy and that can make um, the sound rather distorted. So when we set up the camera and the microphones we had to find a place which was somewhat sheltered uh, to overcome this uh, because there are a lot of things to remember when you're taking a film and it helped me to um, remember the importance of um, preparation really, having a clear idea of what to do but being flexible as well. The course material was very good, it was really hands-on, yeah it was really good. Well they seem to have enjoyed the course and learnt a lot from it too. Scruggle will be running similar courses throughout the year with the next one happening in February. Contact details will appear after this report and further information can be found on our blog. Oh, I forgot to say, this report was produced and edited by course participants themselves. Gurv Mahagiv, Agus Slawninish.